this one started. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard. After the turnover, here's Murray. Oh, the slant complete to Green. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Shotgun now for Murray. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. A first carry for the Fordham Ram, Chase Edmonds. And only well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And he's going to go down. Sank back at the 13-yard line. Javon Kinlaw in there to drop it for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. But it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So on is Matt Prater now to try a field goal here. A 30-yard attempt. And the 13-year man puts it through, and the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. 49ers nothing. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Big thanks to the defense. First carry for Raheem Mostert. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A game better later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Second and six. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They'll get this into the hands of Mostert. 
And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. A couple of first downs on the drive already. Up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. 48-yard line. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Mostert, toss left side. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. That's into the hands of Dwelly. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He can run for it, and he will. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They're going to run the sweep. It's Samuel, and he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Here's a second and seven. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, picked off by Marcus Golden, and he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. Intercepted by the Cardinals. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half, I mean, that just didn't happen. and the Cardinals with a first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. He'll start things out by handing to Edmonds. 
And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. On second down, this is Edmonds. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. for the 49ers now on third. From the gun, Murray out to his left. He may try and run for this. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. He was brought down by Jimmy Ward. It's a gain of 10. First down, Arizona. Nothing after one on EA Sports. Cardinals three, 49ers nothing. First down, Edmonds fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second and nine now from the 21. And now Murray's going to set up the throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Larry Fitzgerald was the intended target, and it's third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. From the gun, Murray. Forced out to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. I liked his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. Here's the veteran punter, Lee, as he sends this one away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Niners will go on offense yet either. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Well, they did throw it in a pretty good spot for second down. They'll set up to throw. And Kittle catching the slant. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That gain on third down, good for 28. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. So they move from 136 over to the other as they come up on first down. Hey, go, 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 go. 
Here's Mostert. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. The ball carrier. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Back to throw here. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 22-yard line. Give them 11 yards. In offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. Mostert. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. This is Mostert. And he'll take it from the 18 to the perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This time it's third and three. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Niners are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Here's Mostert. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Over the middle. And it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to George Kittle. It's tight in. But now it's third and goal. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now, there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now, that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Robbie Gold on now to try the Robbie field goal. Gold on for the field goal. A 31-yard attempt. And Gold is able to put it through, and that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. Three, three. So a dozen plays on that drive CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That's about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it? Not quite the ending they were looking for. Robbie Gold. Field goal's all we've had so far. 3-3 three, three now as the kick is away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Take over first and 10. 
At their own, Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 23. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Green with a catch left side. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime need to give the Need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Throwing on first down is Murray. Rolling to his right. He'll try and run it. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Second and seven. Murray, he's used to moving fast in Oklahoma. He'll get his guys up to the line. To throw again on second down. Murray, and he's going to keep it here. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 34-yard line. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go. First and ten. Operating from the gun, Murray. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Could we get a touchdown to this first half after all? It's first and 10. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Man open left side, it's Williams. That catch good for only a couple. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. From the gun, Murray. And this is incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for. And it'll bring up third down. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Now Murray again. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. 
So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. 49ers 3. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We've got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. Matt Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. Set to return, here's Raheem Mostert. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. 30-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And on the slant, able to find Ayuk. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. A good passing down here. They send three receivers to the right of the formation on second down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Brandon Ayuk, the one he was looking for. And it's third down. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That's complete to Dwelly, his tight end. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. to throw now on first down rolling to his left and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40 opted to run for it the decision a good one picking up the first getting 14 yards on the scramble They'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This will be from 56 yards out. And that will line up just short. He had it online. It ran out of gas at the end. And this score will stay right where it is. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over the spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. Ooh. 
ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know the Cards with the lead and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. Taking it about the one. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Now Kyler Murray ready to get back under center. And he's been busy with his feet. He's been quite the scrambling man. And obviously that can break down a defense. But a lot of it is just that they just get trapped with worrying about it so much that other things break down as well. You know, you break the huddle, and you're not just playing what comes out at you. You're like, oh, God, don't let him outside of the pocket. Don't let him beat us with his legs. And then he starts to beat you other ways. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Edmonds. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. For the loss to start out here, second and 11. Shotgun now for Murray. Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 15 yards on the play, first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. The ball carried by the wide Jamar receiver. Taylor will be credited with the tackle. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. From the 44, Murray looking middle, and it's incomplete. The tight end, Max Williams, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. They get the first. The decision to run on third and medium winds up being a good one. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. Here's Edmonds. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. Chain, second and 12. Out of the gun, here's Murray, and that is incomplete. 
A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Throwing is Murray on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. It's almost a tendency breaker. to throw now on first down. He'll buy some time right. He'll run it. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Now Mostert. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know, you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? And his throw is going to be incomplete. George Kittle, the receiver that he was looking for. And that takes us from second to third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, he'll drop to throw. 
On the move to his left. He may try and run for this. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here, as this is toward the sideline. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Here's the Arizona offense now, as they get set to take over. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 18. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. Chase Edmonds, the five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Second and five now. Murray, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Operating from the gun. Murray, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the gun, Murray finding Williams once more, complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And the Cardinal first down. going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Murray to air it out again. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. 
That means it might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He only got a yard, but that was enough to do the job. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground. Far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. Hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. On first and 10, here's Murray. And Green with a catch left side. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And oh, this is taken in one-handed. What a catch. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun. They're becoming a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing. But I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. This will be caught inside the 10. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the 3. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So first and goal. Six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. The former ASU Sun Devil, Eno Benjamin with it. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play, and that'll make it second and goal. Well, it's apparent the defense understands the situation. They have to keep them out of the end zone here. That's a great start by them. A loss on that play. Can they force them into a field goal attempt and still give their offense an opportunity? Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. Step, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Javon Kinlaw breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack, but he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. has not surrendered a touchdown yet. You better believe they're determined not to here on third and goal. From the gun, Murray out to his left. He can run for it. And he, oh, no, he lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. He's at the 50, the 30, 20. And he will bring this one back. It's a fatal return for the 49er touchdown. So a big turn of events there. This defense makes the play. They return it for the score, and now they have the lead. So much for ball security for offense. In the second half, they give the ball up, and all of a sudden they're behind. Big time fumble. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And he 
He's got it as the lead is now 10-6. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The football going back over to Arizona now. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. He'll get this to his running back, Benjamin. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A six -yard Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. And some room to roam now. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards the pick up there. I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 46. Operating from the gun, Murray. They'll roll him out right. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield, and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. Second down at six now from the 42. From the gun, Murray. The 20. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hopkins. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A gain there of 30 big ones. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth-quarter lead. Six at the 8-yard line. Murray, he's used to moving fast in Oklahoma. He'll get his guys up to the line. 
Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. They'll look to throw. And he'll take this one for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray with a touchdown throw to DeAndre Hopkins. And the Cardinals have retaken the lead. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. He's got it, and this is indeed after the touchdown. Out is Prater to kick. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So now the Niners down 13-10, less than 90 seconds to go. And they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. chased out left and now he's going to use his legs a nifty bit of scrambling there 12 yards first down normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass how about the footwork in this with both of these guys running the ball well yeah they mixed in the run game you're exactly right now both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks <laughs> have taken off but another example right there of just good mobility now he'll pull it down. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Back to throw. He's going to take off with it. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Four receivers in the formation here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and three. He'll look to throw. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 26. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Time. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to potentially send us to overtime. 
And his kick is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. Ties the game. All square now at 13 all as he sends this one away. Taken in at the three. And out a little across the 25. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. They'd like to avoid overtime here. So maybe they can work the sidelines. But then defensively, how do they adjust to that if they do work the sideline? It's the old leverage game. And we usually talk about leverage at the line of scrimmage, right? Who's going to win with the low blocking and everything that goes along with that. But in this case, you're trying as a defender to leverage them towards the middle of the field, not let them get to the best. No, they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. As we said, they control their own destiny now. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A seven yard in so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Looking for Ayuk, and he's got him. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. It's third and four. Big play here. Trying to keep this opening drive of overtime alive. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The temptation to go for it probably there. Always his, especially in overtime. Got to punt it, though. I think you're right. I think that you absolutely have to punt it away and trust your defense, especially play a little field position here. But you're so right about the temptation. Another way to satisfy that, though, line up in punt formation and fake it. That's another way to get it done. Here comes the 49ers punter now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Kyler Murray going to lead the Cardinals back out on offense. He's had quite the turnaround, Charles, at the start of the game. Passing game was a little bit of a mess, but he's back on the horse, so to speak. Love seeing how someone can rebound from a slow start or a tough start. Means that they're strong, Melly. Down, everyone's rallied around them. Maybe they even change game planning a little bit in order to make things better for him. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it, but they turned it back over to them, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? And part one is done, now part two. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray sliding out of the pocket. He'll try and run it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Offensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. Back 
back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Murray. On the screen, this is Edmonds. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. You know the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first is good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Throwing again on second down. Murray, man open left side. It's Williams. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. A little Dinkin and Duncan that they're doing. It. At some point, is it appropriate to maybe take a shot? It is if you feel good about it. But otherwise, you do what a coach told me a long time ago. Take what they give you, but make them tackle. In other words, get it to one of your guys in space. If he makes someone miss, that could turn into the big play you're looking for. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Over the middle complete. It's Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Hey, we don't need no more penalties right here. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math, they did it well, and it works for them. So forget the three and out, the penalty makes it. This for defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Operating from the gun. Murray on the slant complete to Green. To Give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Murray going to try to throw on third down. That's complete to Edmonds, his running back. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Shotgun now for Murray. Rolling to his right. And he's going to keep it here. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Fitzgerald on the slant. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry? ball gets tipped in the air because if that happens then it's fair game for the defense on second down now Edmonds looking to find a lane but he can't reined in at the line of scrimmage not enough there for a first no gain as a matter of fact and it leaves them at third and one and it brings up third down 
49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. On third and short, they'll try option left. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This will be a critical call. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And the 49ers going to take another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. So here comes the veteran Matt Prater in a big spot in this ball game From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. That's the reason we ball for. Circle around twice for the encore. You know, you know. Our final score. We thought this game would be a